Hello one, hello all, it is the gothiest and sickest ghost of them all, Caspa in the flesh. And it's time for a review of Sam Smith, Gloria. Sam Smith is a English singer, song, writer, and this is their fourth studio album. Now, truth be told, I've never been a huge Sam Smith fan. I know, I'm trash. I, I just find sometimes the vocals could be underwhelming. Which isn't to say Sam Smith is a bad singer. I don't think they're a bad singer at all. I just feel sometimes the production leaves a lot to be desired. I feel sometimes the performance on a track leaves a lot to be desired. But there are times where there are flashes in the pan, like on the track Stay With Me, or like on the track Diamonds on their last album. Or, in this case, the very industrial, dark, catchy, unholy. Like, I feel like this track right here is was a banger. And it, it took a while to grow on me, I'm going to be honest. But the reverbed hi-hats on this are great. Um, they, they have, like, the really sharp ting to them that I enjoy. Um, also, the hook is such a devilish earworm. I definitely dig it. And Kim Petrus comes through, leaves no crumbs, and the Balkan strings on the back end are great. I feel like it's kind of like a mix of Hack and a Saw if they met Sophie and did a collab together, because there is a very futuristic feel to the strings. Um, and also the conceptual direction of the track, too, about this guy who is in a relationship and not only being dishonest about the infidelity, but also dishonest on the sexuality as well. And definitely makes for an intriguing, scandalous listen. Um, now, I would have liked to get more of this, but did I get more of this? No. For most of this album, it's pretty much just a weightless, just super bland, not much to chew over album, unfortunately. There's really not much meat on the bone here. And it's unfortunate, because... I thought that I was going to enjoy this. I thought I was going to be a Sam Smith fan for sure after this, or at least a fan of the album. But instead, I just get a lot of bland, commercialized, very overprocessed vocals too. Like on the opener, Love Me More. And I wanted to love this track because I dig the sentiment, but I feel, like I said in the post review, if you're trying to come off as emotive and compelling, it's hard for me to feel what you're emoting when the presentation sounds like a AI gospel. And it's sad. Like, Sam, your vocals are great. You're a great singer. You don't need processing and tweaking on your vocals. Just let them be. Just let them be. However, there are some tracks I do I did dig, like No God, where he's there sending a heartfelt, powerful message to those close to them who try to paint them in like a vilified corner for living their life and try to, you know, demonize them for their lifestyle. And Sam just says, Well, who the hell are you? You know, like you're not a deity, you're you're not this authoritative god figure. You know, just paint, just pointing out the hypocrisy. And also, I do love the lush plucked chords on this. I do love the old school boom bap style beat. And <laughs> it just sounds great. And there's an epic vocal on the closer of this track. So, yeah, there are a few good tracks on here. How to Cry is also a good one. I think it's a very heart-wrenching acoustic where it's just honesty, passion, strings, and Sam, and his emotions. About this relationship with someone who 
is emotionally damaged and they never learned how to love. They only learned how to lie, how to be manipulative. But Sam is showing nothing but empathy and really wants to make it work. It's a very heartbreaking song. Um, but yeah, aside from that, from here on out, it's just walls of just, just like blandness. Like when we don't have a track where Sam's vocals are manipulated, we're just getting like ballroom snoozers, like six shots. And I feel like it could be like, this could have been a bedroom banger, but instead it's a bedroom sleeper and it just the production like the like the elegant style strings just kind of just play as like wallpaper it really just sounds like something you'd hear in the background of a waltzing straight to dvd disney movie honestly and the vocals on gimme featuring jesse and coffee are obnoxious like it, it's like they took they took dance hall and they're like okay just add water all right you you done you done you done you done I, I think that's enough i think that's enough i think that's enough and yeah it, it's just like the clean vocals the very repetitious vocals on this are just not my thing. Like, this so sounds like the production on Views, the production choices that Drake didn't want. And that's not saying much. Sorry, Aubrey fans. But yeah, um, and trust me, there, there could have been also moments on here too, if not for the production, if not for Jesse appearing again, being a very underwhelming vocalist. Um, cause like we just get these tired ass trap drums that we heard time and time over. And it's just pandering with these analog syrupy synths. And again, Jesse doesn't have much to offer vocally. Um, and there's barely any vocal chemistry between her and Sam. And of course we get like some, some of the dancier tracks, but these tracks do not hit as hard as I would like them to be. Like they're not nearly as catchy as something you would get from a Jesse Ware track. They're not something nowhere near catchy as something you would hear off Beyonce Renaissance. It just sounds like Sam just wanted to do like a disco track and that's it didn't really care about the quality just running straight off of the disco track honestly and yeah and i feel like the mixing again on the vocals just sounds so compressed so ai generated that and and it doesn't help that the background vocals are annoying too and the closer on this thing with ed and sam trading back and forth just makes for a very lackluster closer i dig the sentiment i do but it just sounds like another ed sheeran song and not a very good ed sheeran song and the instrumentation is just so underwhelming so commercialized. I feel like I'm watching a PSA, like a pandering PSA in opposed to listening to a song. And it's sad. I don't want to feel that way. I don't because I feel like the message is a great message. You know, people should love who they want to love, but I don't love this song because of how lackluster the execution is so yeah overall i wasn't a huge fan of this unfortunately um i'm feeling a 2.5 out of 5 stars on this 
But that's just my opinion. Do with my opinion what you will. I just wish the vocals weren't as touched up. I just wish this thing had more to offer structurally, sonically. And that's it. That's all. Um, if you've given this album, <laughs> if you've given this an album, if you've given this album a listen, what did you think of it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? And why? And that's it. Caspa, Gothic Ghost, Sam Smith, Gloria, till we meet again.